what's up guys uh, welcome back to electrica and uh, thank you very much for watching now these are push buttons start buttons yeah you've seen them uh, on starters but uh, I just want us to talk about these you know buttons and what they can do okay uh, all right now in these starters we uh, we, we normally feature uh, two buttons that one will be stop uh, denoted by red then another one will be start which will be denoted by uh, green okay and uh, just the same way as uh, traffic lights are whereby we have green to stop you from proceeding and then uh, uh, green uh, that uh, you know allow you to move okay so if you're if you're seeing uh, this for a first time and uh, you want to you know to familiar yourself with uh, circuits uh, as far as you know uh, motors and starters are concerned so this is a video for you uh, okay now in uh, in these button is uh, definitely we have uh, you know uh, two types of contacts here uh, we have uh, normally open and normally closed uh, if you have ever heard about you know direct online uh, starter or forward and reverse or star delta uh, automatic changeover generators you know you must have you know used some of these okay okay now uh normally in the uh in these switches uh normal closed like i said it becomes the stop and then normal uh open becomes the start and uh normally uh, sometimes with the use of contact because you can't use them alone you must have a contactor with you uh, for you to be able to, you know, uh, to use uh, these buttons, okay? Because it will be very difficult for you to use a contactor like this uh, to drive your load, and then you use a typical switch like this one to to switch it on. It's not practical, okay? So that's why we have these buttons. These buttons are spring loaded, okay? Now, like this red one, it's spring loaded in a uh, normally closed uh, contact position. And then this one is also spring loaded in normally open. So, if you press this button, the moment you press it, I think you see that. When you press it, it closes this. You know it closed the contacts so now the contacts will be able to continue there will be continuation here and uh, the red one which happens to be the stop one uh, if you press because normally it's closed so now if you press you open the circuit so there is no you know contact here at the moment because we have opened this circuit okay all right so i just wanted to you know uh, demonstrate to you uh, just by use of a bulb such that you can really get what i'm trying to say i'll just show something small here now just assume you have this is the normal open which is the starts we will draw it here like that and then we also have this the stop one which we are also going to draw here like that okay now here we have uh, our supply which is l there and the, what we're going to do this is the contact number one, okay? And then this contact number two. So we'll connect this here, okay? Like 
that. All right, so now we are just going to put here our, our bulb here, okay? Yeah, just going to put here a bulb. Now, this is the stop, and then this is the start, okay? All right, and then we have our neutral here. So this becomes our neutral, and then this becomes our live, okay? So since I told you that this is uh, normally closed, when you press, it breaks the circuit, okay? Now, same thing here. I've connected them in series. That's what this, uh, this sketch shows you, that at the moment, we, f we feed this with current. The current will, of course, pass through this, the red one, which is in a normally uh, closed, and then it will hang here. You see? At contact number three, so it will hang here. Now, when it hang, until you press here to close the circuit, uh, that's when the current will be able to move to our lamp and then back such that we can get some glow here. Okay. All right. So we can just do exactly that. Then we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, what we do, let's start with uh, this, so we can just do with number one. Uh, you can connect this either side. Okay. Then we still connect this one from number two. Okay, that's good. Eh? Then we also now get our start. Then we got number three. You can even put the, this side, still no problem. You can learn uh, how to make a self-holding circuit, uh, the video in the description below, and probably seeing it in the card also. So, now we have our lamp holder, so we we'll still do this. We we'll put it here, okay? So we are just going to to demonstrate with a light, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got power here so now what we have to do is to supply our bulb here and I'll put the same bulb in the shot such that we are able to to see okay now here is the thing so we talked about this already uh, this is the push button is we have a stop here and a start which we've connected in a series just to get a sense of uh, how you know uh, current flow and how they're being used uh, if we start explaining it inside a bigger circuit it will be a, a bit more confusing but uh, you can understand it here 
very well. Now, like you see, already explained to you that now current goes through the stop to the start. But of course, our light can't grow because this is open, okay? Now, when we close hit this, of course, the light will be on, okay? All right, now let's do this. So, you see, I'm pressing the green, okay? So, now I press the green because the red, which happens to be the stop, is normally closed. And then the green, which is the start, it's normally open. So, if I press, uh, the normally open will now become closed because the contact will be closed uh, when I press, okay? Now, of course, if I press stop, nothing will happen because my light is not on. But watch this. If I press here, then I press the red one, the light will go off, okay? You see? Yeah, like that. Now, the other thing also is uh, if I press first the red one, which is the stop, if I press it, then I press the green one, of course, it won't, you know, go on because already the circuit is incomplete because this thing, it's in, you know, in series, okay? So for them to be able to, to give you light, they must be all on, okay? So I just wanted to give you a picture on how, you know, these buttons because you see them. So, uh, you probably m be wondering, uh, maybe you press a button and a, s a pump or a motor run, okay? You press and then you release and then your, your load remains on. That is called, you know, self-holding uh, circuit. The circuit that can self-hold itself the moment you press there. I've already put the same in the description, so you go watch it. Oh, yeah, you go watch it, okay? So, hope that has been uh, helpful. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to put it in a comment below. Uh, and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, to like, okay? And uh, I'll see you in the next one.